Hi. I'm having a horrible night. And the reason I'm having a horrible night is because... <sighs> oh my god, I'm literally like a couple seconds in. Ugh, I think it's good to like also come on here and show the reality of certain things. I moved um, by myself at the start of the year and I get a lot of comments from people saying that um, I've moved for uni or college and I'm struggling um, or things are really hard or something along those lines. How did you do it? How do you make it look so good? Like, or, you know, different things like this. And I was going through my Instagram DMs today and there was just so many of them comments of people saying that hey Adam you moved by yourself at 18 and it seemed to really benefit you you seem to be really happy right now you've seemed to get it all together and you know I'm missing my family or I'm I've made no friends or you know I'm struggling and how do you do it and I responded to this person like this huge story back and I was like no, it's not that easy. Like, if you're going to college or uni, I would argue that, it, like, it's hard. It really is. But I think that that is the best foot forward, in a way. And that's not me, like, advocating for education or whatever like that or saying that you must go into education or you must do something like that because education, you know, past the, like, the, the, what we need um, I don't think is for everyone but all I'm saying is that when you go to uni or, or you move country to go to uni or go to college you know you, you get introduced into like dorms maybe like different clubs or even just the people you're living with who are in the same boat as you are and this is the advice that I want to give you cling on to that cling on to that especially if you're moving to a new country but even if you aren't if you're going down the road or you're going to university or, or college in your town mingle with those people talk with those people we good sorry the cats are going crazy right now <laughs> and they're trying to pull down my tree which is very expensive because it's a pet friendly tree <laughs> i have to get a pet friendly tree i know they're trying to eat it but like they can because the pet friendly one but it was like 200 pounds <laughs> Um, so, you know, cling on to that, cling on to the fact that there's people there in the same boat scared as you are and just wanting to make friends and wanting to do that. Because let me tell you, I moved during a pandemic. I knew what I was getting myself into, but I have now been in Brighton, which is the, the southest of south you can get in England. Derry's way up in Ireland and another whole ass place like an hour and a half flight I've been here six months and I feel like I've done a lot in six months I feel like I've met you know a handful of people but I know nobody and I'm like I, I, I I'm sorry I can't class meeting someone on a night out once and never meeting up with them again as being friends with them or knowing them past a level of I've met you once and you never followed me back or you, ne well, you never messaged me back or whatever like that. And it's really, really, really hard and it's really exhausting because there's nobody to do anything with. And when you're struggling, you're by yourself. And I tell my parents this and my parents are like, you know, you can just come on home and stuff like that. And it's like, so if you're not going into education, are you permanently fucked for life? Are you never going to be introduced to people your age that you can, you know, like be friends with or be in a similar experience? And it's like, because for the past six months, I've been doing everything that everyone has been telling me by going to clubs, going to tennis clubs, 
trying to meet people, going to nightclubs, which I don't even want to do. The reason I go to nightclubs is because I try to meet people. Um, and that used to work. That used to work. And people would never like catch up with you after, you know, it would be like a one night thing um, where you're just talking to someone on maybe the, the terrace of like a club and you never see them again. However, it doesn't work anymore. And I'm like starting to hit a breaking point because everyone is here for uni and everyone is here for college and everyone is going to these events that I now put myself in, in like groups, you know what I mean? They're, they're there for uni. They're there for their college. And let me tell you, it's not the easiest to talk to people who are already in an established friend group. And they are in that because of those things now. And it's like, I now I'm like struggling to like think of what I can do to meet people. Um, because I'm now not, um, like, like to go into those things anymore. And it's like, I'm so happy for everyone who is at, you know, university and all these places now, because They've met all these people who they can do stuff with. But I'm just going to be honest. It makes you feel the most isolated you could ever feel. Because now not only are you like, all right, I have nobody. But you're like, your chances of meeting nobody are kind of gone because you're not in college or uni. And like, I, I wouldn't have even been like smart enough to get into these unis. Like I wouldn't, you know what I mean? And it's like... It's like, this is why like a lot of people, even if they can, like never want to leave like their hometown or they never want to leave somewhere that's really familiar. And, and let me tell you, I completely get that. I completely get that now, but it's like, I never want to stay where I'm from. I never, like I, I appreciate it or whatever like that. I want to go and do things, but no one talks about the honesty of how hard it is to do that and how meaningless the like connections you make with people are out here because no one really values you because they don't know you you're a new person like and they don't have to like you know what i mean you're coming into their place you're coming into a place where they have all their uni friends you know you'll never be prioritized I, i'm not asking to be prioritized or whatever like that but i'm saying that you'll always be different because you are so far removed from what they're doing in the student scene <laughs> sorry um, so whenever I was responding to this person, I was like, pace yourself, do things step by step, because when you're moving out, it's a mental tool, it's an emotional tool, it's a physical tool, and it all together is just a lot, and you have time to, you have time to clean your room, you have time to, like, put your clothes up, you have time to figure out where your favorite coffee shop is. You have time to try all of these different things. It's not this rush, rush, rush that maybe you think it is. And for me, I wish I knew that because I feel like I did so much the first two months I moved out here. And I'm going to be honest, like life since then has kind of been the same every single day. And I'm very fortunate that's not a bad thing, but it's like, even whenever I was back home and I, and now that is not a thing that I can do because all of my friends back home have now went to university. That's what happens at this age. None of them live back where my hometown is anymore. So if I was to go home, that wouldn't happen. But it's like moving during a pandemic, <laughs> awful. Moving like on the outskirts of like whenever the uh, pandemic is starting to see better days or, you know, like even like a little bit of glimmer of hope is also really hard because people are accustoming to the the new life that is here that we're all trying to just exist in and so my purpose in making this video is i just need to like rant about that and also just that like i really don't want to be putting out to make you believe that you know everything is fucking sunshines and roses and moving out is the best thing I've done and oh I'm so happy here and I've made such amazing friends and I've made such like meaningful connections and stuff like that and it's like no there have been really great times out here I won't I, I won't avoid saying that at all or evade that at all but let me tell you they're like living alone is one thing living alone in a new place is another thing and knowing nobody <laughs> is another thing and like 
I would find myself asking the like the uni student who messaged me. I'm like, what ways do you have of like like finding people or meeting new people? Like, what are your tips and tricks? Like, fuck me. Like, I can help you with how to how to figure out your bills how to figure out how to like own your apartment i mean like i rent my apartment but like you know like exist within your apartment i can tell you how to decorate i can tell you how to like film youtube videos like <laughs> it's like like i really 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 know that i have you know people who follow me that are my age and i i know i have older people too but to the people that are my age i just want to let you know that you're going to have a lot of nights where it feels like extremely hard um with the decision that you made to go to uni or to move to a new place and if you're older move to a new place or you're trying something new or a new job or even something as simple as just trying something new in your day-to-day -day life you know what i mean and if you see someone else doing it with ease maybe they are doing it with ease but if they're doing it with ease maybe they're not and you know what i mean i'm not gonna i'm not gonna come on youtube social media every single day and be like i know nobody i'm here six months and i'm like you know what I mean? it's it's not something that comes up and so i really 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 feel it's important to come on here and let you know that if your opinion of moving out at a young age or your opinion of going to university or going to college or getting a new job or quitting something or moving on from something or getting out of a relationship is easy as can be because you're seeing someone on social media do it you're seeing someone on social media do it who's actively choosing not to be depressing in their posts or not to make you feel scared or like you know what i mean i just really 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 want to emphasize that like transparency to you right now please like just know that not everything on social media is how it looks. Not everything is easy as can be. There are many daily things that are a struggle for all of us that we all go through that none of us talk about. And I've I've just been getting a lot of messages, and I get it, I get it. A lot of messages from people saying that they really need advice because I've been through what they're going through now and I'm, I'm doing it so well. And it's like, I just want you to know the truth that like I'm struggling as well. Like. I'm still learning. I'm still like, I'm so new at this. We have a lot of energy right now. Like it's like midnight. <laughs> Cats are a lot of energy. If you can get a pet, get a pet. Those bitches are my best friends. Um, yeah, I just really thought it was important to come on here and you can have your opinion of me. You can think what you think about what I put out there or the content that I put out there. But I just, I need the transparency to be there i need the honesty to be there to let you know that like any change is hard and just in, and even i'm catching myself doing it not relating yourself to someone else who you think is going through the exact same thing you are doing the same thing you are you know what i mean i just want to come on here and say that um i'm sorry for this mess I really, really, really appreciate you, and I hope you know that, and comment below, let me know, and again, this applies to any little change in life. <sighs> Life's intense, but you know what? We've got each other, we've got our loved ones, and if you don't feel like you have that, look in the comment section, because everyone is here right now watching this, commenting on this. And you all have the, you have this, this is one community. I'm sure there's other YouTubers that you watch that you have a community within them, but I just want you to know, look through the comments. You can respond to people. I want to respond to people. So thank you for watching. I apologize for, I don't want to apologize because I really just wanted to like get that off my chest. Okay. Well, anyway, I hope you're well. <laughs> And I'll see you in my next video. It'll be a lot better than this. And bye.